казва Симона Оринска и е от Рига. И тя ще проведе час по фототехника. Така? Окей, аз ще кажа някакви думи. Ще кажа някакви думи. Ще кажа някакви Maybe in case if you don't understand, just please just raise your hand and say that you don't understand. Да, казвайте ако има непозната дума просто. Може би Саши ти седи там, да? А фото трябва, ще се преведе. Вие може да си преведете по-мъжно си. Да, 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 громче говорим. Тъмно, що он бути переводител от Владария А в нашия сърце. Okay, I will try my best. <laughs> the Navy, please come closer. And I'm not crying. Just, yeah, good, good. Very good. Uh, so, uh, at the beginning, I will say maybe some few words about myself, and then it will be very nice to get to know each other a bit more. Is that okay? Yeah? So, uh, yes, my name is Simona, I come from Riga. And uh, what I do, I, I'm always saying that I have not only one professional identity, but even more. So, like, one is an artist from one part. From the other part, I'm, I'm also doing a teaching job. Um, I'm also running my own center, and I'm doing programs as well. So, and uh, then uh, I'm also a therapist. And uh, it's already said today that some people are already doing things like that, and it's dance movement therapy. And I do it already for uh, uh, about 10 years. So I also used to work in uh, different places and different groups. And um, so, and uh, for today, I would like if we work uh, both using dance movement therapy, uh, some techniques will come from, well, are rooted in this kind of direction. Then, uh, second thing, we will use some brutal <coughs> techniques. And I will explain you a bit more about this direction. And the third thing, we will also uh, use some verbal things. I would like if we talk, if we um, try to uh, formulate, try to do some reflection, try to understand what happened. Because uh, the things that uh, the movement will be quite easy, quite, uh, how to say, uh, not very difficult or not very physical, maybe even so. But uh, I would say that please keep the same energy of level what was before in this more African dance workshop. I mean that energy level the same, but but in a like physical form, you will be more um, precise, more uh, focused, and um, yeah, minimal. Because because my background, uh, I, I'm I'm really deep in Japanese culture. And uh, if you maybe know, then Buddha dance comes from uh, Japanese culture. Have you heard about the, this kind of dance? Yes. yes. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, have you also tried uh, some technique as well? Yes. Or just tried? Mm -hmm. Not really. You but I've studied yes, yes. You mm -hmm. tried it. Only, only person, so. Come here, man. Uh, you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw you. You did some technique. So you have some ideas already yes. what it's about. Good. Yeah. It will be some basics. Of course, uh, this is uh, art, and it's not it's not possible to reach this kind of thing in, in two hours. But we can still do some very basic things. And um, are you tired? No. <laughs> not really, because today is very intense, and I think that the body can be already a bit tired, and also your mind as well, because you have to persuade all information and. and and work with that. Okay, um, should I say some words about Bhutto? Yes. What is that? What is that? Okay. This, this is uh, actually rooted in Japanese culture and it arised, it was uh, like uh, 20th century, uh, 70s, 60s. So it's like, it was avant garde dance. But you know that uh, this dance has some uh, impression as well from European culture and uh, from German Expressionism, especially, do you know this kind of thing? <coughs> Have you heard? German Expressionism. No, not really. Because it's also a very, very expressive 
in arts and especially in, in movies and uh, Fritz Lang, like like this kind of thing. And uh, Mary Graham. Yes. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. of course. Then you know, it's also. So she was also a kind of inspiration figure for Buddha artists in Japan. And then, like second direction, of course, it's uh, on the other hand, it's Japanese culture. Um, and uh, they wanted really to go and to find some roots of Japanese culture. Uh, because the things that it was um, uh, after Second World War, the situation was very, very difficult. And so Japanese culture was kind of defeated. And then they wanted, and, and for me, I feel this, this dance is also some way how to um, work with trauma, with traumatic situation in your life. Uh, and, um, but it's in a, in a level of nation, yeah, or you can use it. Um, okay, so if you are interested in, in this kind of thing, I also brought some book from, but I'm very sorry this is in Latvia, but still, if you want to go through, there's there very interesting pictures and you can understand also just, just through pictures. This is like selection of uh, different uh, articles. So, and um, then also this is something about my work, my experience in, in, this, uh, in this art. So, we, of course we can talk about aesthetics, about different things, uh, but it's a lecture. You know, like, why do you use this kind of thing and aesthetics? And why naked body and things like that? Um, Okay, just very fast impression. And I really like to work with water and with mud, with very natural elements. And uh, yeah, I would <laughs> I would suggest you to go into this kind of experience because this really gives you some some feeling of uh, really human being. It's really hu about humanity, about humanity at all. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you are more interested, then maybe later you can come and, uh, and we can talk more about aesthetic things and things other. So now, uh, please, can you say uh, your name and give some gesture, like uh, whatever? But no, but gesture. first, uh, it's um, like you use your hands. Yeah, gesture. Yeah, yeah. Just your name, and because I, I want to know uh, to know each of you. Name and gesture, and please uh, also also repeat. Repeat the same. Yeah. Okay. Let's start. Maybe can we go up? Maybe be more easy. We can also use body.
What else? A few vibration. Vibration? Yes. Yeah, what kind of vibration? Over my body, everywhere. Yeah, like some tick tickling. Yes. Tickling, thanks. Yeah, very nice. I Good. feel warmness and kind of security and <coughs> together with the ground and I'm not going to fall mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, is it comfortable to just stand? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay, because sometimes you're running, running, sometimes. running. And <coughs> it's not really Just to be still. Step less. Just to be still. Okay, let's continue. Let's go ahead to the walking. And then we go to the shoulders. Shoulders <coughs> and elbows. And your hands. muscles and jaw. Sometimes every every part of your body is moving differently. <laughs> Not really this one. <laughs> Let's 
So how's you doing with the jumping together with the person? Still doing the shaking thing. One person, find another. <laughs> Can you find a person? And please allow your body to be all your body parts. Allow your, because I see very stiff shoulders. Allow your shoulders to be alive. Lift your shoulder. Yeah, 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 very good. And you as well. Shoulder. <laughs> and now let's uh, try to flow into the space with this movement. You go down to the floor, but you do it like super slow. Like you are aware of every movement you do. This every small particle you do. Try to go down. You try to do this very slow. And then you will experience that there is one moment which is very difficult to do it slow. <laughs> and you go down, really down, like really melting into the ground. Yeah, like really melting. Like you're becoming this ground. You're really 
becoming the ground of her touchiness. And now try to relax as much as possible. So 
three different um, ways of, of conscious, let's say. How we persuade things, yeah? How we persuade. And this will do, we will do through movement plus with our eyesight, yeah? So, first thing will be that you have very concrete thing to reach, yeah? Like A. So you have A or target in a space. You have different aims in the space. <laughs> and you find one, then you can go, okay, uh, this is very interesting, I go to next. Uh, this is interesting, I go to next, yeah? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's clear. It's very easy. But the thing you should observe yourself. What is happening with your body? What is happening with the space around you? Yeah? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, let's do this. Let's, let's start. Do you understand? Yeah. It's good. It's okay. Okay, so now you move just as you're walking through the space. Put one aim here, another aim here, yeah? And observe yourself. Let's try. Let's try. What else? It was uh, my body was focused on the things I was seeing, the body itself, and yeah. it was like uh, some tension. With tension some in your body. Pressure, yeah. Okay. If I'm gonna get yeah. to the object. Right. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. my mind, I had the the goal to reach that certain point or object, so I would intentionally pick points you know, where I should pass yeah. through obstacles, and my body yeah. automatically just moved by. Them. It's kind of automatic, kind mm. of automatic thing. It's, it's like semi-automatic, semi-conscious, because mm. I still keep my uh, my focus on mm. the target. Mm. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, thank you. What else? Yeah. Oh, uh, when I was focused uh, on something, uh, my yeah. body go later than my mind. <laughs> I focus. Ah, mind is first, and body only. I after. need to push my body. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, well, I felt like something is pulling me towards it, like a string. Yeah. Hmm. And it, I felt my body more um, not not soft, but lightweight. Light, yeah. lightweight. So there is an impulse. Lightweight. Was there any lightweight? 
For you? For you? Yeah, it was for me, I was in kind of a trance and I initially didn't understand what objects I was picking but I knew I had to pick them up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and my, my body was doing it automatically. My mind wasn't doing the moving and the picking up the objects at all. So you should work. <laughs> you work hard. <laughs> okay, yeah. I felt my awareness coming up. For the thing and for the things around me, but mainly for the thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah. I felt that I want to follow the details. Yeah. Follow them with my body and with my mind. Yeah. And connect the details with me. Mm -hmm. That's what the spot gave me. <clears throat> yeah, actually, you're very, very true. But uh, of course, this is like uh, we have this kind of separation now because we have you, an object. I asked you to, to pick up object. So this is this is this is what happened. Yeah. We see details. We see objects. But actually, what happened with with all space? Did you recognize that? It disappeared. Disappeared. Other people in the space. Yes. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. 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 What are any? Any? Not concentrated about them anymore. Yeah, but it wasn't really important for you, or it was. It wasn't. The other. No, it, it wasn't. wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah. like something that we must do, but we yeah. didn't. Even sometimes I was seeing people exactly above the spot, but I didn't care. I was just putting my hand between their feet, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, just yeah. see the subject. And uh, what is situation? So, oh, okay, yes, please. Yes, uh, at first I was very keen to to see the points and okay, grab see. something, but at one point I actually felt the environment, and I wanted to play with life objects mm -hmm. and with other people. It wasn't just oh, I need to. Mm -hmm. Touch this. I, mean, mm -hmm. I wanted to connect with something. Mm -hmm. then Strong connection <coughs> with object. Yeah. Yes, but I want to connect with the alive objects also. Ah. With the, all the environments, not only looking yeah. for one object. Ah. Okay, good. There was a moment uh, while going from one point to another. Mm -hmm. uh, I just suddenly lost sight or in my head of the, the target location and I just for a second stopped before I refocus my attention mm -hmm, on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually how our perception works in this situation. Uh, can you recognize situations in your life when you are focused in this way? Yes, when I was hungry. <laughs> yeah, maybe we eat some object. What else? Do you have more situations? Toilets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like really needs, like really like basic needs. <coughs> When you're in love, and you see yeah, the object of your desire. This, this yeah. Only the subject. I saw, nice. I saw an object on a person. One of them. It's like uh, he, yeah. he got. I was, I was trying. Uh, I was searching for something, and he, I was like, yeah. I just. <laughs> I had found an object in my head. When I saw a flower. <laughs> Um, and you want to match it with leg. And I was so... Oh. I know, it's my fault. <laughs> yeah, emotions, right? Emotions, right? Yeah, that's, that's what really was happening. Yeah, you have this, this really strong focus on something. And actually, what, uh, what is happening around you, it's, it's becomes not so, not so important. Maybe for some person that's different, but um, I think this is the main thing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this is... A, things in life when you need this concentration on object, yeah, when you need, let's say, to do some, some basic work or something or, or, or some really, really strong need, yeah, then it's, it's about this. So then, let's go to next state. And this will be, please, go up again. And uh, now you, again, you move through the space, but now your eyes are, uh, are focused. Like if you, you have the peripheral vision, you know what it is, yeah? When you have open, open your eyes, you see all the space. And please move, just very free, free way, yeah? But try to move in all levels, also using ground, using this level, using vertical level, yeah? And with open eyes, with open eyes. And now again, observe your body, 
observe other space. What's happening? Okay, let's do it. Let's go again. No. Now at the moment there is no spots, yeah? You just move through the space. of the others if someone else saw the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We were more, more together with all the group. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like one person. Mm -hmm. You're becoming this one person. Like one energy. One energy. When you have the one where it is and where it is going. Yeah. It's like, like so you feel more like he's going down, he's going up, he's going to roll. Yeah. Um, I think that I yeah. personally I just locked myself into my world. Why? What happened? Because I just turned off like everything around me. Just it was too much? No, no, it's just it's that possible I because needed. it's you know you <laughs> too many things. Yeah, I, I I I I could see them, but I just mm -hmm. was somewhere inside myself. I also felt it like everyone is in his own world because when I was looking at people in the eyes, no, they were looking through me. Really, <laughs> they were like zombies. Like so? Really? Yeah. That's what I saw in their face. Really, no one saw. Did you feel lost and lonely? I felt like when I was moving, uh, they protect me and I protect them. Mm. Like, when we oh, that's interesting. When we are Point moving, of view protecting. Yes, because they see me, they move. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was focused on uh, one invisible point, but uh, I saw everyone in the room. What they doing? Uh, rows up and down, and uh, them faces. Uh, when I don't look at her, I know she's behind me. I don't know how. 
that's all. I kind of like the river stream just going through different stones or chunks of wood, but gently not hammering them in any way. And still I was able to see different points on people, like for instance, <laughs> my friend here's a point on his neck. I would just, in the moment, stop, focus on it, but still keep moving and then continue onward. Yeah, it's like it's becoming nature. Yeah. Like nature, images of nature. I thought about fish in the sea or oh. in the aquarium. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like the yeah. other fishes around. You see what, what is happening. If we compare with the first situation, you are becoming like part of the world. You're becoming part of this space, part of each other movement. Yeah, this is what's happening. When you just find another point of perspective, yeah? another way of looking. That's interesting. Have you experienced this kind in your um, artistic uh, experience before? Or maybe in your trainings or yeah. When? Yeah. When? When? Um, when you think different than uh, for example if we have uh, um, some kind of uh, work, work to do together and uh, everyone has different mm. ideas and everyone wants to follow his own idea and then it feels a bit like the the different fish in the sea. Okay. What else? Thank you. In theater, have you experienced this before? Yeah. Uh, yes, with my yeah. old troupe, we felt like a single person, and whenever one would improvise something, all would fall in that mm -hmm. direction, mm -hmm. yeah. whatever happened. Okay. Yeah. And you? Um, yes, I feel that when when two people on stage and they listen to each other mm -hmm. and. <coughs> and the improvisation, like, yes. Mm. Because I, I feel like that I, I all, I'm always thinking for the others on stage mm -hmm. to protect oh, them from okay. oh. You are thinking yes. always about other people. Is yes, that true? Me More than by, about yourself? No, for me and for them. So okay. And that's the, that's the idea, it's not only for yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. I felt it yeah. when I worked with them, like uh, last semester. Mm -hmm. It was like we were together, mm -hmm. working like one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like really unique experience. I nice. think to have this nice. kind of really like and one, things, like and really the like things one. work faster. Mm -hmm. You do it uh, faster, easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Let's go to third uh, site. I said, go up. And somebody mentioned zombies, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but this will be very, um, yeah, it's very busy. It's used, just used in water. So um, try to relax, relax your eye muscles. Yeah. And it, it looks like that. So I'm um, relaxing. Just unfocus. Absolutely unfocus. So I see you, but I can't see uh, like the text. Yeah? I can't see the so you can see on the back of the arrow. Uh, you see all, all the space, but you can't see. It's blurred. It's blurred. Yeah? It's blurred. Somebody will get their glasses and this is the situation. Uh, please, at the beginning, just try this kind of thing. It, it can sometimes it, you can be dizzy, so please be careful because it's like just stop if you feel like, yeah, because it's not necessary to go down. Yeah, uh, just at the beginning, now just try this kind of thing. Yeah? Just. Move. You can and, the, and if you're ready, then you can start to move. And just also, you can use uh, all levels in the space. This vertical, this medium, and ground. And if
if you like, you can also change different speeds. And again, observe yourself. Like, what is happening with your body? What is happening with the space and all that? Part of you are doing, and part of you still somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Part of you are doing, and part of you are doing. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's go back. Let's go back. The other senses were sharper, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you you focus a lot like your peripheral, maybe in English peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Peripheral vision. Peripheral vision. Peripheral vision. But it's peripheral plus blurred. Yeah. yeah. You see in front, but you see when you focus on uh, a point, mm -hmm. this is blurry. But mm -hmm. when you blur in front, you see in front very good, a little blurry, but you see. Uh, here you see yeah. uh, this, this better. <coughs> okay. And the difference, the difference in perception <coughs> of the space. I, when I was walking and I was concentrating in a spot uh, in, mm -hmm. before me, uh, and there was a person approaching, and we bumped in each other because we didn't we saw with our peripheral vision how close <laughs> actually we were, and uh, we were just like. So close, so we went into each other. Mm -hmm. And so my body was feeling really heavy, and it heavy. was uh, like I'm gonna drop down. Yeah, what was the feeling in your body? Did you notice that? Yeah. I felt like I was getting out of haram sleep. Like, okay. And I felt really dizzy. Yeah, that's a, that I felt about. Because it's like a bit shocking, it can be shocking for your body not used to do that every day. It's also when you do start to do some long meditation, you can also be a bit busy. Yeah. yeah. And it's actually very relaxing at the same time. Mm -hmm. But it can be also feeling that it's uh, that you are out of out of control. Did you notice that? Yeah. That you yes. can't really yeah? And it can be very disturbing. Was it for you? Maybe. Maybe. Un uh, uncomfortable, uncomfortable, dizzy, uncomfortable. Yes, I, unsafe, I can't unsafe, unsafe, maybe. I yeah. can't run when I was on that. Uh, I I want to run, but I don't have a control on my body, mm. and, and that's very strange, maybe. Yeah, it's very. It's
strange because I would feel yet I see different compositions of people I, I saw I seen groups of people yet I was not afraid of losing control. It's like I still had it, but yet I didn't. It's <laughs> just that I was constantly going back and forth between that. But I was not afraid at all. I couldn't stop walking. I had to refocus yeah. my vision to yeah. stop. <laughs> And my walk was very uneven, uh, but it felt relaxing that mm -hmm. I didn't have control over my body, mm -hmm. that I can finally rest from my body. Okay, good, yeah, thank you. What we are going to do next will be connected with this last exercise we did. Uh, and, um, yeah, what is happening? Actually, of course, our brain waves are changing. It's happening if you are in this kind of state of mind. And uh, actually you can do the same with the public because we have this kinesthetic empathy and this is what really working, it's still really strong. So we will late, later, I hope that we will have time, we, will, we can try it out as well. And um, um, because the things that we are really, we should go very deep in our body, in our body. And then if we connect very deeply with, with your body, then you can also connect with, with audience, you can do the same. Uh, the first you should be to know and to understand your body, how it works. So now, this um, last exercise also shows that um, um, it somehow helps, let's say, to go into this conscious state of mind, which is between reality and between unreality somehow. In between. So this is in between. This is really important for Bhutto. In betweenness. Not to be here but here, but in between. It's very interesting to be in the border, to be in the border. And actually for artists it's very interesting situation always to find those uh, those, you know, like points. Yeah. And um, this also helps somehow to go more, uh, to connect with your unconscious, yeah, more, and it gives your body as well. So uh, let's move, let's go up. And um, this will be like, uh, I will show you. We'll, now we will do the same. Um, this, uh, this comes from also from no signature. But it's a bit like uh, changed, and it, it will be like some one of one of Bhutto steps. There are several, but we will do just one now. And uh, please go a bit down, yeah, in your knees, because for Japanese culture and the, your um, uh, your legs are quite uh, close. And if you imagine that that you can put paper, like paper. Yeah, and, but, but it's not like, like this, but, but you have a little bit space, a little bit space around here, a little bit space here, yeah. Because uh, the thing is that in Japanese they have this uh, understanding of ma space, which means also this, this space between, yeah, between. There is a space, here is a space, from here to the wall there is a space. And I'm dancing in the spa with the space. Do you understand me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not with with my body or with uh, with with uh, this uh, what do you say this box, but with this space around. Yeah. So um, that's why always they have this like body. There's always some space. Here's some space between your fingers. Some space. Yeah. It's not very tight. And you go. A bit. Go down and <laughs> go down, and your shoulders are a bit relaxed. Yeah, it's like uh, my teacher said, like su and and, and that is a, like sushi bar, <laughs> like sushi bar. <laughs> and yeah, it's like like this, a bit. not like monkey. Yeah, monkey more like this, but <laughs> but relaxed. So it, it's really opposite from like traditional ballet or traditional classical dance when you have all this open and very nice and chest and everything. This 
goes a bit more inside. Yeah. It's not like a little bit inside, but at the same time, I'm also outside. It's, it's, it's always it's between, in between, as I said. So then we try to, uh, to move very slow. At the beginning, just try this. So there is a feeling that like, like somebody is, is uh, pulling you here and you don't uh, shake your hips. Yeah. It's traditional Japanese thing. It's like little steps. Yeah, and so steps are sliding. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is like 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 and small step, like half from your feet, half from your feet. Yeah, it's really like really sliding. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just try and then I'll. And next next thing that your your feet so it's sliding. This one and it's not like this. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not like this. But I really do this without uh, shaking your. Uh, but try and now, next thing. When you do the movement, every movement is something new. Yeah, you don't do this automatically. But you do this step, really feeling your, your and sensing your feet, your uh, heaviness or your lightness in your body. Yeah. Try to always to be here in presence when you do the stuff. It's not about like with me. Yeah? It's about living about body which is alive. <coughs> but it's it's slow at the same time, but it's alive. It's not like they're dead body. And just try this very slow sliding and try that your feet are quite Almost close, almost together, yeah, not like really, but almost together. And try to do this sliding. Not like walking. The walking is something different. Okay, any questions? And please try, try to go a little bit down, more down. Yeah, and here you have open. And your
Because that one's there. there was something here that one's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. So please find a partner. Find a partner. Just find a partner. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Very good. So now we will try to do like this. That is uh, some, some attention, yeah? It's a little short. So you are walking, but I'm I'm giving some pressure. And you walk no no no, you walk forward. Okay, yeah, but I'm I'm doing some pressure. <coughs> Just a little bit pressure. Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. And you still keep sliding. Mm -hmm. observe your body, to feel your body better. Okay, now let's, let's, let's do the same, but with a partner. Yeah?
after cardio. After Like somebody is pushing you. Like you have, let's say you have strong wind. You are in a strong wind. Mm -hmm. But don't don't try to to show it. Yeah, it's like a bit like from actor's point of view, why? But from Buddha, don't show. Feel. Feel in your body. Then it will be perfect. Okay. Let's go through this. On your own. Like strong wind, very strong wind, strong wind. Try to be focused, eyes open. And uh, now we will do some uh, uh, small performance. Uh, let's split into two groups. Uh, you, you already had partners, maybe you can stay as a partner, but one, one, one part is stay here and other part is staying because it's important that you will have some observer. Each of you has observers, so the same partners. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah? Okay. 
Then let's let's. Sorry, sorry. Yes, one partner will be public. Another partner will be performer. Yeah. Is that clear? So uh, performers, please make a role here. Already, it's so you're already doing this. Very good. Yeah, and and performers here. Performers here. Just in the role. Yeah. Shape the role. And you have. Which is your partner? Go to your partner. Go to your partner. Really, is your partner? Yes. Yeah. Then it's correct.
So, uh, can you have some reflection, like public, from public? What did you notice? Also, you can also participate if you, if you feel like really sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in one moment, I think I can stop him only with eyes. I feel it. Uh, I can push him uh, <coughs> more with uh, mm -hmm. only with eyes. Mm -hmm. That's what I okay. feel. Yeah, it's a the connection behind this. Like he was pushing me back. Okay, you have very strong connection to set right between you. <laughs> okay, what else? Mm -hmm. He was trying yeah. to imitate me. I left my hand and my head in this position and he went to crack his, his neck and left his head in this position before he noticed and fixed it up. At the beginning I really felt like um, a pull. Uh, the need to <coughs> Okay, like somebody's pulling you. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, like very gentle. Oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe some. <laughs> okay. Then uh, what else for you? I felt like I was in a dress, and then she was pulling me with her eyes, and like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. like in a tragedy yeah. context, like Medea after she kills her children. You know, so <laughs> yeah, she has to go after of course, it, so. Yeah, of course, it can also can raise some emotions. Yeah. It's just so open form that you can also put your context in that. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Was there any, any like a, a bit afraid as well? So this walking, just walking. Like, you know, <laughs> No? Fear, no, but I was thinking uh, all the time what she's going through, what, what's inside of her, what, oh, okay. what's happening there, yeah. what great tragedy mm -hmm. is she is the hero of.
Uh, the strange thing is that uh, from the beginning I tried to pull him a little four or five steps I mm -hmm. uh, don't remember but after that I pushed him after that I mm -hmm. pulled him again and I pushed him and asked him that he, did he feel felt something and he said the same thing mm -hmm. it's like oh really full you are really strong it was very strange and second unconscious and then he pulled me again. <laughs> okay, you? Um, at first I was trying to concentrate on my partner, mm -hmm. but then I just uh, re saw their faces, uh, her face and the faces of the others, and I was horrified. So I just lost my concentration and I couldn't just mm -hmm. stare at them. I just didn't want to. 
It's like a reflection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there was something like uh, uh, when he was walking and he was getting up and I, I just thought uh, he, he has to go down and he, he went a little down with mm -hmm. me. This is strange. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. Just yeah. when I thought about this. And okay, you? My partner, I saw that um, he, he was concentrating, me, uh, concentrating at the same time on me and on the music, I think, because he had his mouth open, like the, the, this voice from the song mm -hmm. was going through yeah. his whole body, and, uh, and so that gave him visions and picture of his future, and at this, uh, <laughs> and, you know, I couldn't feel quite his energy, but the moment he approached two meters to me, like, poof, I, I, I like, all of his thoughts came in my head, like all of this energy went into me. Like we became one, our brains, our bodies, everything. It was really strong feeling, really strong feeling. Oh, it's really strong experience. Yeah, actually in Bhutto it's, it's very important that those stories would uh, become from public. Yeah, this is the most important thing. Your stories as a public. Okay, you. I felt again like I was in a trance, but this time, like everything around her was blurry and she was like glowing, and uh, the and I felt like I was pulling her. Yes, I feel that like like a magnet yes. or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Yeah, it works. So you have a unconscious level in your body. You are connected. And if you are connected, then it really works. And you can feel it. Okay. I felt support. Because I was fighting with myself, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it yeah. was uh, something that I was noting, noticing myself. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to control myself and seeing that I am very slow. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was also trying to don't care about it. And I was feeling support from her side. Mm -hmm. Nice. Of course, I also saw the struggle in your eyes and in your body. Yeah. Of course, I understand it's really difficult to go very slow, to be very conscious at the same time, very focused and open. Yeah, it's like, oh, so many things. I was fighting with myself because the other people were very fast, so my thoughts were like, how they do it? Why so fast? Mm -hmm. Don't care about it. Just make one step at a time. Yes, but why they so fast? Don't care about it. One step at a time. What's happening with the mouth? Okay, we opening the mouth. <laughs> it was something like this. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At one point I felt uncomfortable because uh, when we start opening the mouth I, I felt, uh, I knew somehow how this looks through someone else's eyes and I felt uncomfortable because I thought that she's going to be uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. Yeah, at some point. Mm. I know, uh, I knew it's going to be disgusting, so... Is <laughs> that <laughs> disgusting? Well, I suppose, I suppose from, uh, from a viewer's size, maybe, I don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Yeah, you? My partner may be felt intimidated by me. <laughs> Whenever I got... <laughs> Whenever I got uh, close to him and stopped, he started moving and shaking and yeah. he wanted to get away and I had to refocus my, refocus my vision <laughs> and I looked him in the eyes and his eyes were wide open like he saw something that like bare chance of him. Uh, I was actually constantly focusing and losing focus on him but the closer he got uh, like, 
the more frequent mm. that had became. Mm. It's a very interesting things. I never heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> but your group is I'm really. Sure. But yes, I really kind of felt uh, a bit of intimidation. <laughs> Actually, it is about this opening, this kind of calmness. It's also very naked. It's a very naked state of you, and that's this can be uncomfortable, of course. Yeah, this can be uncomfortable, and it's kind of very you're very brave that you do that because it's really like opening you, your body, you as a person, which is very important for for public you. So. I think we go to the final, <laughs> final stage today. <coughs> thank you, really, thank you for your really good job. That you were open, you were really working, mm -hmm. and uh, you are brave. <laughs> that you did it, because I, I said it's it's not very easy to do that, especially for the first time. So, <coughs> and maybe then, uh, like one, one word from each of you, like what you will take from this class. Just one point. Just looking inside yourself and um, what surrounds you and, and how you react with even with the air and with um, I don't know, the natural um, surroundings like wind and trees and whatever you see around you. Thank you. Maybe shorter, because <laughs> time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you. That night I learned uh, how to control myself and concentrate. Mm -hmm. So thank you. <laughs> I learned about self-reflection. Thank you. Uh, being here and now and not playing and not showing. Concentration. Confidence. Being relaxed and focused at the same time. Okay. Concentration and uh, relax. Opening up and closing for the others. Uh, concentration, then uh, relax, then uh, how to control my body. And, uh, <coughs> yes. self-awareness and that I need to know more about myself and how to react. Mm. The same how to concentrate. <coughs> Experience with working with partner. Going through different stage of consciousness while being being aware of your body. I learned some things about myself. Mm -hmm. The same, like um, to be here right now. How to be connected and disconnected with mm -hmm. someone and mm -hmm. the group. I thought something like when you are really tired and mm -hmm. you stopped and your eyes are looking at one point and you didn't realize that that uh, it's because you're tired right now, it happened because I wasn't tired, but your mind wants to be somewhere else, like you want to be concentrated, go there. Like I, I found that concentration in it. Self consciousness and um, mindfulness to your environment. Okay, thank you. And you also, one word? <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> okay, so uh, I will say like in Japanese way. Origato <laughs> gozaimashita.